Hi everyone and uh, welcome. How are you doing? So today I'll be talking about this effect here. I don't know what to call it, some kind of strip, uh, st uh, stripe or uh, I don't know jail effect. I have no clue. But um, people want to know how to do it. Now I, I thought right away okay this has to be some kind of displacement effect as we talked about in this tutorial here. Uh, and sadly it's just you know really easy uh, stripes you need in order for this to work though, but I really recommend watching this tutorial and try to understand it because you can do so much and do so many crazy things with it. I know it's a messy tutorial maybe, but uh, yeah. So we'll be working with this image and I have to tell you, I have to warn you right away that this effect looks crappy with almost all images you have to get, I don't know, I, I, I did it on 10 images and they all looked really bad. Now. So now that you probably don't want to do it anymore, let's get to it. Right away I'll just start by making a gradient map to get it black and white. Now alright, let's just zoom in a bit. And uh, we need to create the uh, the stripes, so we'll create a pattern. Let me just close that, I already did it here. Uh, but what you want to do is grab this uh, selection tool and then draw a triangle. Now the triangle has to be as big as his ear. Or the person's ear so we can capture that in one stripe. So press Ctrl C to copy that just to get the size and create a new document. <clears throat> now press, no sorry, go to image, canvas size and then go to percent and we just need to double that uh, width so press 200. Now we can uh, create a new layer so press Ctrl Shift Alt N you will see create a new layer. I'm just going to fill that with black. So press D for deselect. So to so deselect the color. So we have black here and white here. Then go ahead and fill by pressing Alt plus backspace. And now press Ctrl T to get this free transform. And we will just edit the size so it's 50%. After that, we should go and press edit then define pattern and then define a pattern because now um, uh, let's actually let's go back to the image here and zoom a bit out then let's start by duplicating the image we're going to need that later so press ctrl plus j and you'll see we created a new image now we need a new layer for the fill let's fill over this pattern we just created so ctrl shift alt n Oh, whoops, I pressed M. I meant N, so that would create a new layer. Now go edit, fill, and then pattern, and then select the pattern we just created. Uh, Alright, now here comes something we have to be aware of. You need to align these stripes so it won't look totally messy. Um, what you're going to need is, you're going to need one white or one black to align with one ear. And on the opposite ear, uh, you would want the opposite color. So in this case, I have white here, then I'll need black here. Maybe I can just go ahead and transform this a bit. So, you know, they will match a little bit better, you know, just to get the geometry right. I think actually this looks really great because we have the same part of his eyes, the nose is centered. Um, and you know the same part of the, the ear and the same part of that ear. I know maybe this sounded a bit boring and didn't you know didn't sound that important, but it's just this effect almost looks it will make everything look really crappy. So I, I think this geometry, this symmetry is what makes it good. Okay, so now I'll go to the magic wand tool and make sure you have these settings. Uh, these settings as me because we need to click on the white and then get all the white now after that Let's just hide this layer over here the stripes layer go down to this layer and Then we'll make a Duplication via cut so we do this by pressing ctrl shift J and The effect here is just hide one and then invert the other It will cut it was just duplicate what you selected in a new layer and deleted that in the layer beneath. Um, yeah, that's a, a really, really great shortcut. Now, 
let's get to this tool here, the move tool, and I'll hold down shift while pressing the right arrow to move this. And actually, I moved that the right the wrong way because as you can see here, we are having uh, the left ear here and we need that in the left side, so I'll just change directions like so. Then keep it like that, then go to the layer beneath and move that out. More, 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 until it aligns. There we go, like this. All right, there we have it, quite easily, isn't it? Um, should be kind of like that. You know, I actually try to work backward, uh, the other way, backward, and um, try to match it by cutting out the stripes here and then matched it, and it was this technique. So yeah, I don't know, many disclaimers, you know, but uh, this is how you do it, and it can get really great as we saw here in this example, and I will say this is all right. Not the best though, but um, yeah, that's the effect, so there you go. Have a great day and goodbye.